Hi, welcome back to the High Low tutorial. If you're just joining us, you may want to go back and have a look at the first two tutorials on how to build the High Low game. In this tutorial, we have two objectives we're looking at. We'll be looking at how we can actually create a loop, which will be using a pretest loop, and we want the user to be able to keep playing the game until they've won that chicken dinner. So we'll be using a while loop, and also setting a Boolean variable called winner. So a Boolean variable has two states, it has a true and a false state. The other objective for this tutorial is actually set a global variable. We need to increment that global variable because we want to we track the number of guesses the user takes to actually guess the hidden number or the secret number. And at the end of this, we actually want to display this on the screen. And we also may want to let them know what type of game they were playing. So if it was easy, medium, or expert, etc. So let's get underway. Let's head back into our Python game. As I said before, we're at this point in our game where if we look at the output window, it's asking us for the size of the game. We might actually say, well, let's start with three, which is a hard game. And we can see the game size. We know what the secret number is. Enter your guess and we'll put four, nine, seven. And it says we win. But if we play the game again and use the same parameters, so three, this time the secret number is 230. If I put in 100, it tells me that I'm too low and the game finishes. So we want to change this so the game keeps playing until we've actually guessed the correct number. So to do this, we're going to use what's called a while statement. Now the while statement needs to actually start after we've generated the random number. So once we've created the secret number, we're going to start it here. And I'm going to put in here while winner is equal equal to false. Now at the moment winner is not declared so I'm going to head back up to the top of my program where I normally set my global variables so after input random I'm going to put a developer comment in here and put global variables or vars and in here I'm going to have winner all in lowercase is equal to false so it means they haven't won yet. So I'm heading back down to where I wrote that while statement. So while winner equal equals to false, so they haven't won yet, I want them to be able to input the user guessed. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller and I'll also make the window a little bit larger. So while they're not correct, I want them to keep guessing. So I'm just gonna highlight all this and press the tab key to indent it. Now this is all part of the while statement. So while winner is equal to false, and we've set that as a global variable to be false, so it comes into this loop, it'll ask the user to enter in their guess. We've got print user guess, we don't need that at the moment, so I'm just gonna put a comment tag in front of that. If the guess is correct, they're a winner, else they're too great or too small. So let's play this. It will be an infinite loop, so it won't stop, but we should now be able to be asked to enter in more than one guest. So I'm gonna start with the e, the beginner's game, one to 10. The correct number is seven, so I'm gonna enter in five. It should say too low. Then I'm gonna put in nine, which should say too high. And then I'm gonna put in seven, which is the correct number. And it says winner, winner, chicken dinner. But you notice it's asked me to enter a guess again. So I could actually put in four and it says I'm too low. So it's never gonna leave this loop. Now to stop an infinite loop, we just hit the stop button here and that terminates the program. Now, what we need to do is under winner, we wanna display that they've won, but we also need to change winner to true. So we're gonna go winner is equal to true. So now we've changed it from false to true, which is the Boolean variable. Now, so winner is not equal to false because winner now is true. Because that is finished, it will jump over and we can then put a print statement here. End of game. So let's play the game now. So once again, it's still gonna give us the information we want. I'm gonna do the easy game. The hidden number is 10. So I'll just zoom in so we can see that a little bit better. So I'm going to enter in 7, too low, 11, too high, and this time when I put in 10, it goes winner, winner, chicken dinner, and end of game. 
So we now have the game playing until we've won. So the next part of our objective is actually to count how many times it takes for us to guess the correct number. So let's go up the top here and we're going to enter in a global variable. We're going to now put in here guesses and we're going to let that equal to zero. So when we start the program, it's going to be equal to zero. But every time we make a guess, I want to add one to that. So I need to go where the user enters in the guess. So here it is, user guess equals input. So after this, we know they've put that in. I can put guesses is equal to guesses plus one. So add one to guesses. Because it's zero when we start, we enter in the first guess. It then checks to see if we've won. And if it is correct, we then print end again. You solved this in. And then I can actually output the number of guesses. So once again, I'm going to go add str bracket guesses plus quote end again. You solve this in, and it could say four or five or one guesses. So this now should increment the variable every time we guess. And then when the game finished, tell me how many times it took. So let's go and check that. So once again, we're going to go in the program. We're then going to go down and say game two. The number is 17. So I'm going to enter in one, two low, 20, two high. And then if I put 17 in, it should say I've guessed it, winner, winner, chicken dinner, and should tell me that I've solved it in three guesses. Now you notice that the three is hard up against guesses, so I'm just gonna go up and put a space in there. So when I play the game again, I can then put in the correct, um, the game, so I'm gonna put in two, and if the answer is 55 this time. So go down, and I'm gonna put in 10, too low, 100, too high, 55, correct, and I've done it in three guesses. So let's just turn off a couple of the cheaters. So I'm gonna go up and get rid of the secret number is. So I'm just gonna put a hashtag in front of that to make it a rem statement. Also, I'm gonna rem out the size of the game. So now it should just ask me for the size and then go through and allow me to play the game. So let's run the game again. I'm gonna do a beginner's game. So I'm gonna use one. So I know the number is between one and 10 enter your guess, so I'm going to put 5, it's too high, so I'm going to go 3, it's too low, so I'm going to go 4, and win a winner chicken dinner, and I've solved it in 3 guesses. So there we go, we now have a counter tracking how we've gone in the game. So if you found this tutorial useful, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, also have a look at my YouTube channel for the next video in this series, and have a look around at other useful Python videos.